Next is fog. Fog. Uh, this is the ground surface. Uh, this is the ground surface. And maybe above the surface, there is a huge air mass. Okay. And due to some reason, the temperature of this air mass suddenly falls down. And condensation has happened. It is not yet precipitated. But condensation has happened here. Such a parcel of air is called as fog. So here the condensation would happen on hygroscopic nuclei, not like the dew. Clear? Condensation takes place within itself on fine dust particles. So the fog is a cloud. So fog is like a cloud with the base at or very near to the ground. Have you seen, enjoyed foggy days? When you're traveling up the mountain, you suddenly cannot see anything, right? The visibility becomes very less. So, hazard, right? There. So, the fog is a cloud with base at a very near to ground. Because of the fog, the visibility becomes poor or zero. There would be salt, nuclei, pollution, everything is traveling, air is getting continuously mixed throughout the air. So, there would be particles everywhere when that condensation would happen. Yes, there would be some fog in urban places also, like for example, in industrial centers, where a lot of particles, smoke, etc. So, they will give more particles and you can see fog in industrial areas also. Very morning when you travel in highly industrial areas, you will see fog. Okay, But when the temperature is high, you cannot see fog. Okay, right now. In urban and industrial centers, Smoke provides plenty of nuclei and that is still more dangerous when smoke combines with fog, it creates a health hazard called as smog, S-M-O-G. Smoke, when smoke combines with fog, it creates a health hazard called as S-M-O-G, smog. Now, this was a very interesting question that was asked in 2015. Okay, check out. Mumbai, Delhi and Kolkata are the three mega cities of the country. Okay, they left out Chennai here, I don't know why. But the air pollution is much serious problem in Delhi compared to Mumbai and Kolkata. So they said Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi are three major cities. But why air pollution is a bigger problem in Delhi compared to Mumbai or Kolkata? Maybe one good reason then. Oceans play a role in Kolkata and Mumbai. Stabilizing, right? Stubble burning. Haryana. Punjab. All these things. So you can surely write your answer and submit. If you are interested, you can write this question and give it to me. I'll check it out. Okay. Fog. I cannot see anything. Can you see? No. Okay. Then, types of fogs. There are different types of fogs. And the first type of fog I'm going to teach you is radiation fog. So, everything is there in the name itself. You'll have to understand radiation. So, how, where will, from where radiation will happen? From where radiation will happen? From the land, yes or no? So when the land cools, sense of radiation very fast and cools, the air above it will cool faster, causing formation of fog. Such a fog formed is called as radiation fog. Very simple, right down. Radiation fog. So right down, radiation fog. Results from radiation cooling of the ground and the adjacent air. These fogs are not very thick and happens usually in winters because that is when you have longer nights and the land will get enough time to cool. Okay, next, right on. Fogs formed by condensation of warm air. Okay, just a second, just a second. I'll explain and then you can write. So, we understood radiation fogs, right? The next type of fog is called as, uh, I think I have a picture. 
yeah so this is radiation fog so land is radiating heat and that is why fog formation so simple diagrams when you talk about radiation fog you draw a simple diagram you get more marks okay so draw a diagram fast simple diagram how will you draw a simple diagram land you will write down radiation land cools and fog that's it such kind of figures would fetch you more mark because it tells the evaluator that you have understood the concepts better okay so next is called as the advection fog so the word advection itself means what do you mean by word advection i have made you write what is the meaning of word advection what is the meaning of the word advection horizontal movement of the air is called as advection right so listen now the air is moving from here it is moving horizontally and it has come over a colder surface for example we can say ice so when air was moving horizontally it came over colder surface and over the colder surface the temperature lost and it formed fog such kind of fog is called as advection fog clear everybody so draw this diagram and then we will write it down done okay so let's write it down write down advection fog fog formed by the condensation of warm air when it moves horizontally over a cold surface so horizontally is one important word over a cold surface it's known as advection fog now comparative to radiation fog radiation fog will disappear easily it is not that thick but advection fogs are very very thick and persistent means they last for a long time so this is another difference they will last advection fog are more thick and persistent and in oceanography we will be studying where warm ocean currents and cold ocean currents meet such fogs will be formed and these are very very interesting fishing grounds okay we call them as banks fishing banks dodger bank grand bank all these examples we will be studying in oceanography so write down occurs over warm and cold water mixing zones in ocean okay so we have studied two types of fogs radiation fog advection fog right next we are going to study frontal fog or precipitational fog and this topic you will study in detail fronts fronts when two different types of air masses cold and warm air come and meet together at one place we call this as fronts we'll be studying this types of fronts in detail it's a separate syllabus okay so just now understand when a cold air mass and a warm air mass will come and meet fog formation will happen such fog is called as frontal fog or precipitational fog frontal fog or precipitational fog done and in fog the visibility would be less than 1 km this is another important point the visibility will always be less than 1 km here the warm air and the cold air is coming and meeting and the warm air starts rising up we'll study fronts in detail okay 